This is Jeff Nippard, PE Science Sponsored Athlete, and you guys should check out Price Plow. Welcome to Price Plow. What's going on, Price Plow Nation and YouTube Worldwide? This is Mike and CJ, and we are here with the latest and greatest protein bars on the market, PE Science's Select Protein Bars. That's right. PE Science, I love these guys basically because they have Jeff Nippard as an athlete. Okay. This is Jeff Nippard, PE Science Sponsored Athlete, and you guys should check out Price Plow. Okay. What does he do? Uh, he's a YouTuber that does these like breakdown, like he's, he's all science based, but he like cites studies and does it like mm -hmm. anyway, it's fucking good. He does, does it right. Huh? Yes, he does it right. And so PE Science is supposedly doing it right too with these. Yep. I'm not going to get the whole label, let's just cut into the macros because this label is busy, like crazy busy. And so there's like six different forms of protein, what they're going for is like the soft, thick consistency. <gasps> Isomolygosaccharides. It, it is in there. It's good. That's not the only thing though. So, so the, the story is like what we kind of realized is that some of the better tasting protein bars we've had, like the Ronnie Coleman one, those uh, use glycerin, the sugar alcohol. Yes. And then some of the other ones, like the old Quest bars. Uh, that were going, you know, by this fiber macro thing, they were using the IMO fiber, right? And then kind of switched to soluble corn fiber. For those of you that don't remember, basically those IMO fibers is what we were all irritated with Quest about originally. Yeah, I mean, like, it's really like three grams or three calories per gram. It's not a dietary soluble fiber. Anyway, these guys are kind of half and half. And so they're going for the flavor, but they're going for the texture too. And then they have this crazy protein blend. They have these like whey crispies in here. Like this is a complicated label. So you'll have to check out the blog post. But in general, each bar is gonna give you 19 grams of protein here. What do you have? Do you have uh, 19. 19. Yeah, 19 grams of protein, 26 grams of carbohydrates. 24. 26. Oh, okay. Ooh, but well, I you, fat you have more fat because you're peanut butter. What do you have on fat? Eight. Eight, and now I have seven here. So and I have white chocolate raspberry. And what was that? And then 2.5 grams is saturated here. And so for the carbohydrates, 12 of that gram, 12 of that is the dietary fiber. So some of that's going to come from, I think, uh, the prebiotic fiber. Some of it's going to come from the IMO. And I'm not sure if they're counting it as fiber anymore. We'll have to check. Oh, dude. I mean, come on. 12 grams of fiber in here? That's like... They have chicory fiber. So that's oh, an okay. soluble corn fiber. So, you, so, so that, is, that's do they have a choice to list that as a fiber or not? The FDA is kind of like bouncing back and forth. I'm not sure where it's really standing, but I think the right thing to do right now, like Optimum Nutrition, is not doing it. The reason, that, the reason that changes for me, like whether or not that's true, like what depending on what the actual rule is, is because... Like, okay, I can accept, like, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with the IMO, right? Like, but we have to accept that it's not going to be, like, count to your net carb, like, concept. And all right here on the back, they put carb-friendly, uh, you know, and so to me, obviously, you, you're marketing that, like, this is a very fiber-rich, like, low-yielding carb uh, bar. But again, it's possible that most of well, the fiber is coming from because it's listed higher. You gotta, you're going to show, yeah, you're, yeah, exactly. All the fiber, the chicory fiber and the soluble corn fiber are higher, and then the IMO is way down low. So you're using all of it. I don't think the IMO fiber is, is important here. I, it might just be it better shot. not be PE science. I, I respect you guys because of Jeff Nippert, and you don't break my heart like that. Okay. Yeah, and so, and then, I don't know, there's a, a ton of different types of uh, ton of different types of proteins in here. We have that listed in the blog post. And you can show some, some B-roll. I do have sucralose in this one. I think you have sucralose in this one. So this is not yes. like a natural fiber one. Pea science is very popular for the vegan protein. This is clearly not vegan. This has got all sorts of dairy proteins in it. So they're doing exactly what I have suggested companies do with bars. And stop worrying about the freaking calories and all that stuff. And just give me something that's delicious. Yeah, we didn't mention calories. 210 calories. 210, yeah. 210. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh out one of these bars. We're going to do a tasting. We got Josh over here, so we're going to have him taste it. Dude. One thing that Josh did have yeah, uh, mentioned right. that was like that would be interesting, these are fresh bars. What's going to happen six months down the line, you know? So it would be kind of cool if we like kept the bar out, which I'm not going to be able to do, and then <laughs> see, how they, see how they store. We're switching to the GoPro so that we can weigh this out. Which one do you want to weigh out? Uh, it's been yeah, chosen. let's do that one. Okay, it's been what chosen. And so we're looking for a bar is supposed to be 60 grams. Okay. Whoop. Uh, yeah, we have a three-legged table, guys. So. Okay, now What's check this out. Sorry, Roll. I spent all my money on rent. I can't afford a table. <laughs> <laughs> we got this sandwich here. Dude, boom. Look at Ooh, 59, 58, really close. Hold on, look how limp this thing it was, man. That's it's funny. So it's fresh. gonna be soft, yeah. Why did they make these? All right. Does it have the date? I have mangled this thing. <laughs> Dude, crack it in half. Let's see what's it. See what's oh, okay. April 18th. Look at that. It is very limp. Might as well just show the other one too. 
Um, now I have not had one of these at all. Ooh, another sandwich. Chocolate. 60 on the mark. Dang, they're on with the manufacturing. That's just too that's, soft. I'm just dropping it. This looks good. All right, switch to the other camera. Boom, we're back. Come on, Josh, get in here. All right, what do you want to start with? Chocolate peanut butter? I'm eating this. I don't even know. Is this peanut butter? All right, so chocolate peanut butter, starting off with that. This sandwich, I love. To me, I think look matters. Like I've said this before, but I think that the, the visual, you know, it matters. Some of those brick looking bars is a turn off. Mmm. Crispy. I, I didn't expect a crispy. Yeah, I know you said it, but I almost forgot that that was even going to be. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. It's like, um, mm, peanut butter is perfect to me. It's got enough of, um, the actual peanut, but then it kind mm -hmm. of get it, it's the creamier sweet part of it is like tails in. Not a lot to the chocolate, but I got no chocolate. I don't care. Yeah, peanuts are an ingredient. Whereas on this other one, we're gonna have cashew butter as an ingredient there, so that that adds a little bit of the realness or whatever. The correction, is, the correction is from the whey crisps. There's the adding right into the, the uh, extruded layer. That is kind of close. I'm not gonna say it's a Reese's peanut butter cup. But it's got a little bit of that. What did you say, Reese's? Re Reese's? 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 You said Reese's. Reese's. That's how I say it. Oh, it's Reese's. 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 Reese's Pieces. Is it in Ohio? I think we say Reese's. I guess. I say Reese's. <laughs> See? You're yeah. outnumbered here, bro. Yeah, Reese's. <laughs> well, you're living in the best country <laughs> in the world right now. <laughs> Texas. Um, Can I, I'm going to open so, up. I, don't, I mean, like, so the flavor, I thought it was great. I mean, I, I mean yeah. from a standpoint of, like, the chocolate and the... The peanut, I mean, I think it's good. I mean, um, I won't make a comment about the texture just because it's less than a month old, but. That's the thing, it's super soft. It's super soft right now. So like, if if you're thinking about buying them, buy them right now, right. as fast as possible. So just in general, like, you know, the life of a protein bar generally got about six months on the protein before it starts hardening. So anything before six months is usually your peak uh, freshness in protein. Bars. So if you're a company and you want a positive review, you better send it in time. <laughs> As opposed to when we buy it in, in deal mode off of SolomonHunt.com and so like, <laughs> All right, so now we're going in on the, uh, uh, Mike's over here just eating more peanut butter. Uh, we're gonna go in on the raspberry, mm -hmm. which we have not tried yet. This is a fit chick flavor right off the bat, I can say. I haven't eaten mm -hmm. this one. This is also very good. This is a lot more of a pretentious flavor, I feel this like. This is very good. No, I love I love uh, white chocolate raspberry flavored ones. Raspberry all over. I was a big fan of the uh, Combat Crunch one when they had mm -hmm. yeah. that flavor. I don't know if they still do, but they did. Um, Combat Crunch. What do you know about What do you know about that? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but flavor that was really good. You get the I, I like the I think the coating on the bottom. They did a really good job at the flavoring mm -hmm. on the coating. Um, yeah, it reminds you of one of those white coated uh, raisins. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about? Like, those, those white coated raisins or whatever. Ever have one of those? Oh yeah, um, the yogurt. The yogurt, yogurt part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that I think they, the raspberry is phenomenal. Sometimes in these raspberry flavors, they don't get real raspberry. I think it's exactly what it's supposed to be. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, I'm a little bit too like um, I don't know. I'm not uppity enough to eat like white chocolate raspberry things. Right. I like I have a more simple palate, like mm -hmm. give me chocolate and peanut butter. Um, so I think if you're a fit chick or a, this well, was natural flavor, it's got dried raspberries in it. So it's, it does have some dried raspberries in there. It does, yeah. Well, they got the the girls' color and the boys' color, so maybe that's what they're doing for you, right? So yeah. what do we, I mean? They have more flavors coming out too. They're gonna have to send them because these are damn good. So they have new, they have other flavors coming out because yeah, I heard their their, their protein is is like really sought after in terms of flavors, right? I mean, they have like some. Yeah, they're really like killer yeah, flavors. Yeah, but, uh, we, need, we need to do a new review with the new flavors. But yeah, their vegan protein was even good. Yeah, they're doing great with the flavor game, yeah, so. in my opinion. But um, yeah, so they have a couple new flavors coming out. Now, one of the things that's different here is that the first ingredient is calcium caseinate. So you have a casein protein in here. Maybe that's going to last a little bit longer. I don't know. Yeah. It's definitely going to give you that more satiated feeling, which I like. And to me, a lot of times when you're in a pinch and eating a bar, it's like I need it to satisfy my hunger. Um, so I think, I don't know, I, I'm a Casey fan actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, don't, I don't know exactly like the uh, correct 
degradation of like how it happens with like in the protein bar, but like, I mean, I think that the case probably holds up a little bit stronger, but it's just not a, like it's not what people are usually looking for out of a protein bar. Usually it's like a, a concentrate, like a whatever, or, mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I mean, it's a little, a little bit different, I guess. It's just, I mean, it's good. I mean, yeah. I would say it's definitely good. I mean, it's just kind of, let, let's, you know what, yeah, going back and forth, I like the white chocolate raspberry better. I think it has a better flavor. That yeah, better flavor. I think it's fantastic. CJ's all. You know. All right, so since I'm a, <laughs> since I'm a man, all right, and I'm fishing, I'm gonna go with chocolate peanut butter. But either way, do me a huge favor down below. We're gonna have links if you guys want to pick these up. Pricebot.com is the best place for you to do that. And subscribe to the channel so that I can uh, stay in, in, you know, in business here. It's hard to make a living on in YouTube, downtown. So just, just for fuck's sake, yeah, like hook me up, and subscribe. We'll see y'all later. And action. This is Jeff Nippard, PE Science Sponsored Athlete, and you guys should check out Price Plow. Yeah. Okay, are we doing a separate one? Yeah, we'll do yeah. a separate one. Yeah. What is going on, guys? My name is Stephanie Buttermore. You guys gotta check out Price Plow. Thank you, awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Price Plow.